In this video, I'll show you how to get started recording DI guitar in Cubase. First, I'll create a new audio track. I'll make sure this is mono, and I'll choose input 3 as my audio input. This is the instrument input where I have my guitar plugged into. I'll input monitor the track to check and see if I get signal. So I'm just hearing the clean DI signal right now. I'll tune up using the Tuner VST plugin under Steinberg Tools Tuner. Next, I need an amp tone. I'll load up the VST amp rack under Steinberg Distortion. I'll load up a preset from the top menu. This one's called I'm Dynamite. It's got quite a bit of drive to it. I'll pull down the gain and presence a bit for a little bit less drive. I'll also blend the microphone more toward the SM57 model. And I'll add a bit more gain back in. Now, since I'm already plugged into my audio interface with an instrument input, I don't need to add any additional preamp gain. I'll play a lead example with the preamp all the way down. But you can add some additional gain if you like using the preamp gain on your interface. Here's an example with it pulled up a bit. For this example, I don't need all that extra gain, so I'll pull it back down. However, it can be pretty helpful for leads. Next, I'll just hit record and play in my first rhythm example. In Cubase, you can store multiple takes on a track by recording right on top of a previous take. So off screen, I recorded three total takes on the track. Then you can click here to show your lanes. So the takes are stored on the different lanes and with the lane comping tool selected up here, you can click on each of the takes in the three lanes, and the selected take will be moved up to the main track on top. Here I'll select the second take, and then hide the lanes again. Now I'll just duplicate the first track to copy over its VST amp rack setting, and pan it hard right in the inspector, and then I'll pan the first track hard left. Then I'll delete the audio from the duplicate track, and record a fresh take. <laughs> Panning your rhythm tracks like this is one of the simplest ways to get a nice wide guitar sound. So that's the basics of DI guitar recording in Cubase. In the next video, I'll show you how to comp together multiple guitar takes.